Hi students, in this video I'm going to show you how to retrieve your recordings. So in the last video I showed you how to uh, find the record button and emphasize the fact that only the person who has scheduled or created the meeting will have the record button available on their interface. So that person is the person re responsible for pressing record to begin the recording and pressing stop to end and upload the recording. So once you have um, had a couple of rehearsals and you're happy that you have your final video that you would like to generate a URL for and share with me, um, you will have completed your uh, presentation, press record, press stop. So then you need to go and get that URL. So you come to your homepage uh, in WebEx, so the, the dashboard. Now you'll see on the left hand side there are a number of options. So we want to go to recordings. And if we press here, we'll see these are a list of my recordings, some of them from making tests, some of them from recording uh, sessions for colleagues and staff. So this is the recording that I made in the last video when I was illustrating how to use the record button. Okay, so let's just press play. Recording service. So now I'm recording this particular. Okay. So let's just go back. Now I want to get a link, a URL for this video, for this recording to upload for, as part of the submission. So for you as, for you, as students who are uh, needing to show me a URL for your presentation, you can go to this little icon here for share next to your recorded presentation. Okay. And then you can click here and click copy URL. Okay. You can then put this URL in your PowerPoint slides that you submit to Moodle. I can click on that link and I can access your recording. Okay, so um, it might help as well if you put my email address in. I will be sent a link via email, but it will also ensure that I can access, that I've got permissions to access the recording on WebEx. Okay, so share with me. Um, you could put your group name in here. And then you can grab a link as well and put that in your PowerPoint slides. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I've got a warning message here because obviously I'm sharing it with myself. So it's asking me to share it with somebody else. So you won't get that warning message because you will be sharing it with me and we will not have the same email address. Okay. <clears throat> so let me just take that out so we can proceed and I can click save and you know that your recording has been shared. If you have any doubt, you can also share the recording with a family member or a colleague and ask them to uh, see if they can access the link and view the file to make sure that you're happy and relaxed knowing that the file has been uploaded and the recorded version works and can be heard and seen.